Researchers overseeing the remnants of the Chernobyl nuclear facility located in Ukraine have observed a notable increase in fission reactions occurring in a chamber that is currently inaccessible within the facility. This surge in activity has prompted them to delve deeper into the situation to ascertain whether it will naturally reach a stable state or if it demands a risky and intricate intervention to avert a possible uncontrolled nuclear chain reaction. The team is actively engaged in investigating the potential outcomes and considering the nuances involved in ensuring the safety and containment of the situation. The tragic explosion that occurred at the Chernobyl nuclear power plant in 1986 resulted in the destruction of walls, leading to the sealing off of numerous rooms and corridors within the facility. The massive detonation scattered tons of radioactive fissile material from the reactor's core throughout the premises, causing intense heat that fused sand from the reactor walls with concrete and steel. This fusion gave rise to molten substances resembling lava, immensely contaminated with radiation, which slowly seeped into the lower levels of the building, exacerbating the extent of the disaster. The aftermath of the Chernobyl disaster left a trail of destruction and a lasting impact on the surrounding environment. In the aftermath of the disaster, one specific chamber is believed to harbor significant quantities of the hazardous substance. Unfortunately, this chamber remains out of reach and neither human nor robotic exploration has been able to lay eyes on its contents. Researchers have recently observed a significant rise in neutron emissions within the vicinity, revealing a notable surge of approximately 40% since the onset of 2016. This unmistakably indicates an escalating nuclear fission process, prompting researchers to delve deeper into assessing the sustainability of this spike. They aim to decipher whether this upsurge will follow the trend of previous fluctuations in other sections of the site, eventually subsiding on its own, or if a more proactive approach, such as gaining access to the area and implementing necessary measures, will be imperative to manage the situation effectively. This heightened neutron activity poses vital questions regarding the potential implications and demands a thorough investigation to comprehend the underlying factors contributing to this phenomenon. Neil Hyatt, a researcher at the University of Sheffield in the United Kingdom specializing in nuclear waste management, draws a comparison between the ongoing issue and embers in a barbecue pit, emphasizing the continuous nature of the challenge. According to him, this comparison serves as a poignant reminder that the dilemma of nuclear waste disposal is not definitively resolved, but rather managed and stabilized over time. The potential explanation for the current situation revolves around the installation of a new containment structure erected above the damaged reactor back in 2016, which might be contributing to the drying out of the reactor. During the radioactive decay of uranium or plutonium fuel, the emission of neutrons occurs, and these neutrons have the capability to trigger a fission reaction if they are absorbed by other radioactive nuclei. However, the presence of a significant quantity of water plays a crucial role in slowing down these neutrons thereby impeding their absorption by other nuclei. This phenomenon hinders the progression of the fission reaction within the reactor. In the aftermath of the calamity, a hastily erected shelter was built above the reactor in the aftermath of the disaster, plagued with perforations that permitted rainwater and avian intrusions. The absence of rainwater post the implementation of the new enclosure might imply that there's an insufficient amount of water in the room to effectively reduce neutrons, potentially leading to complications. Conversely, an excess of water could also pose risks, as a complete drying out of the room would accelerate the neutrons beyond capture limits, thereby impeding fission. Therefore, maintaining the water level within this room is crucial to prevent unfavorable outcomes, emphasizing the delicate balance required to manage neutron activity effectively. In discussions regarding the fission process, Hyatt emphasizes that the rates involved are significantly low compared to a vigorously fizzling nuclear reactor. Furthermore, the careful assessment of the fissile material present in the room provides a level of assurance that the rapid release of nuclear energy sufficient to cause an explosion is unlikely. However, despite this analysis, there remains a degree of uncertainty regarding the exact outcomes. This uncertainty stems from the complexity of nuclear reactions and the potential for unexpected developments during such processes. Hyatt's insights shed light on the intricate nature of nuclear energy and the challenges involved in predicting and managing its behavior in various scenarios. 
In previous instances involving other fuel debris, similar excursions have been observed. The neutron base rate exhibited a pattern of escalation, stabilization, and subsequent decline. This recurrent trend is anticipated and viewed optimistically by experts. Hyatt has expressed that the current scenario is considered a reason for vigilance rather than panic. However, he also pointed out that if the escalation in neutron generation persists, intervention by researchers might be necessary. This potential intervention could entail the implementation of measures like drilling into the room and applying a solution containing substances such as gadolinium nitrate. The purpose of this action would be to absorb surplus neutrons, consequently stifling the ongoing fission reaction. It is essential to monitor the situation closely to determine the necessity and effectiveness of such proposed interventions. Maxim Savelyev was actively involved in the more recent containment efforts related to the Chernobyl disaster and subsequently became a part of the Institute for Safety Problems of Nuclear Power Plants, a division of the National Academy of Sciences of Ukraine. According to Savelyev, the task of precise monitoring poses a significant challenge due to the absence of a neutron sensor in close proximity to the relevant chamber. Furthermore, the uncertainty surrounding the composition of materials obstructing the sensors from the melted fuel makes it extremely challenging to accurately anticipate the true extent of the issue. As Savelyev articulates, the current understanding is limited to mere conjectures and hypotheses, highlighting the complex and intricate nature of the ongoing assessment and containment efforts at the Chernobyl site. Savelyev advocates utilizing robots for the purpose of reaching the room in order to install neutrons and temperature sensors with precision. Furthermore, the robots should be tasked with the potential extraction of samples from the lava-like substance and the installation of a solid neutron absorber, specifically in the form of gadolinium metal, if feasible. This strategic approach ensures a meticulous placement of the necessary equipment, enhancing the reliability and functionality of the sensor systems within the designated area. The release of radioactive isotopes from the Chernobyl disaster resulted in widespread environmental contamination, affecting soil, water, vegetation, and wildlife. The initial fallout deposited radioactive particles across large swathes of land, creating hotspots of contamination in the vicinity of the reactor and extending thousands of kilometers away. While some isotopes decay relatively quickly, others persist in the environment for much longer periods, posing ongoing risks to ecosystems and human health. Cesium-137, for example, can accumulate in soil and vegetation, entering the food chain and exposing organisms to radiation over extended periods. This bioaccumulation phenomenon amplifies the environmental impact of Chernobyl's radioactivity, perpetuating the cycle of contamination. The long-term health effects of Chernobyl's radioactivity continue to be a source of concern for affected populations. Studies conducted in the decades following the disaster have revealed elevated rates of cancer, cardiovascular disease, and other health problems among individuals exposed to Chernobyl's radiation. The intergenerational effects of radiation exposure, including genetic mutations and reproductive abnormalities, also raise concerns about the health of future generations. The persistence of radioactive isotopes in the environment prolongs the risk of radiation exposure for affected populations, necessitating ongoing monitoring and mitigation efforts. Even as time passes, Chernobyl's radioactivity remains a silent threat, lurking in the soil and water, waiting to exert its toll on unsuspecting victims. Efforts to mitigate the long-term impacts of Chernobyl's radioactivity have focused on containment, decontamination and environmental monitoring. Despite these measures, the task of managing Chernobyl's radioactivity remains a formidable challenge with no easy solutions. The sheer scale of the contamination coupled with the persistence of radioactive isotopes, necessitates ongoing vigilance and international cooperation. Long-term environmental monitoring programs track changes in radiation levels and assess the effectiveness of remediation efforts, informing decision-making and risk management strategies. As we look to the future, the legacy of Chernobyl serves as a stark reminder of the enduring consequences of nuclear disasters. The events of April 26, 1986, underscore the importance of robust safety protocols, transparent communication, and responsible stewardship of nuclear technology. Chernobyl's tragic legacy also highlights the need for continued research 
into the health effects of radiation exposure and the development of innovative remediation technologies. So what do you make of these Chernobyl discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.